thrift stores. So I'll go to a thrift store on my lunch break and I will film that. Who knows? Maybe I'll find some really cool stuff to use in the Han. Scary update of the day, Burger King. Burger King, scary Burger King, whatever. There it is. Does that look familiar? Well, it should, because on my, my breakdown here at work, I'm trying to go through the back door of this thing and charge up the battery pack, and if the sign lights after I charge the battery pack and it's all good, then maybe I'll think about like trying to put a transformer in it and see if that works, but if the battery pack doesn't charge and if it doesn't light the lights, then there's no reason really to go into any of the other stuff. So we'll see here in a second. It's almost charged. I'm very excited. <laughs> you were vlog bombing, sir. That's what it's called, vlog bombing. <laughs> <laughs> it's about an hour later, 5.74. Just gonna see if it works. Fingers crossed. To recap, if all the circuitry is good, there's no power coming into it. So that's when the circuitry should switch it to battery power and the sign should light. Theoretically, if I hook this battery up, the sign should light instantly. Trying to get it hooked up to there. And what do we got? Oh, we have a big fat nada. And yes, guys, that fuse is just fine. The sign is done for. Sad panda. Before I get out of here for the day, I just had to try one last thing. I wanted to see if these damn things would just light. So I've got it basically jumped directly to the battery. I want to come over here and touch this. I've already touched it, so I've seen it. I just want you guys to see it. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Woo, brightness and darkness. Isn't that beautiful? Too bad it didn't really work. Anyway, so everything, all the guts in the sign are trash, except for the LEDs and the battery pack. So maybe I'll just connect it directly, put a little switch in it, call it good. Dancing water, shake, 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 Sonora, shake your body line. You might be asking yourself, Troy, why don't you work on any props anymore? Well, because number one, there's a baby in the house and I have no place to do it in the house. And number two, look at this weather. How am I supposed to build anything outside when it's all nasty and rainy and wet and icky and whatever? But hey, I am cutting the base right now. Um, I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to cut the base for the haunted house. The, the haunted bird house. So I'm doing something. I am doing something. Leave me alone. I hope that I'm not appearing fuzzy because I looked at the lens of the camera and I tried to clean it and it's like got this tinge to it now. Really weird. Don't know how it got there. But... Bunch of stuff's going on right now. Number one, baby is there, and it is kind of blurry, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that sucks. I really don't know what I'm going to do about that. Anyway, uh, I'm playing music in the vlogs. You know why? Because this is my cousin's band, Anchor the Tide, here on YouTube. And um, these are the people that were going to do a Halloween song for us, but um, said that they couldn't fit it into their schedule. So. You guys should all, all, all go to like Anchor the Tide here on YouTube. See, even Phoenix thinks so. And you should like message him and say, you should give Hellmouth a song. The board is cut and I have went and I have looked for my caulking gun because I was gonna like take the birdhouse 
the haunted birdhouse and I was gonna like caulk it and go and then seal it around. <laughs> well, my caulk gun is broken. I hate it when, when my caulk gun gets broke. Anyway. Caulk is broke? Yeah, and she's like, what? I like your hair. Turn around. Let's see the top of it. And don't touch it, just, no, don't. Yeah, you, you kind of look like kind of like Jenna. You know how Jenny, she had the hair that, you know, kind of went around, kind of looked like a wreath on top of her head. She was quite cute. Can we give a twirl? <laughs> wow, okay, don't, th whoa. whoa, yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, like, let the heat gun, the heat gun. I'm going to let the glue gun heat up, and I'm going to just, like, do it in glue. So nice not have to worry about turning off the music behind me. Anyway, guys, take a look at this. Here's where I'm at. Just got through hot gluing the whole perimeter of the haunted house. So it's sealed around the wood. And I also put some on the bottom of this also uh, before I stuck it to the base. Now it's time to paint it up. Update. It's looking spooky. And I put the base coat down here of brown, um, but I'm still going to put obviously the fence. How do you go neighbor? Down here, I'm going to do the whole moss effect. Also, in between here. So, the yard's going to go all the way up to the stairs over here and over here. Do that. A couple little final touches on the house. And then this one here will be done. Baby Phoenix is going to night-night. It's now time of the contest update. This has been your contest update. Yes, guys. Eight. Eight more subscribers. And then the contest is over so it's basically eight more subscribers in one day because I want to make a final announcement uh, for the end of a contest. What? Uh, oh, here. I could try it. Hold on. There, done. Uh, oh, yeah, so that's all I had to say. It is time once again to start archiving vlogs, and you guys know what that means. Actually, it doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Anyway, it does mean that it is time for the Facebook question of the day for the 4th of April, 2013. See, I have to sit back and think about it because it's like time is like flying by. What real life element have you seen in a haunt? Would you use this in your own haunt slash yard display? And I had to reiterate just a little bit just to let people know that, you know, I meant like snakes, water, fire, wind, a real life element. Mary Fetner. We have a pond that I want to run the trail around in our haunt. Still have to show the husband that I can make it safe because there's a pond on one side of the trail and a huge drop off on the other side. Once I get fencing up around the pond, I would like to have something animated in the pond in the dark so they can only hear it. That makes a splashing noise, then have an animated alligator come out at the guests like it's coming out of the pond. That is really awesome. And that's like reminiscent of the beast you guys know the haunted house out east um they've got real alligators and then a little while later they've got an animatronic alligator but it just makes everything like come to life all that much more guess what time it is now you guys are gonna love this watch <laughs> my computer literally spits the disc out when it's done all right guys let's get cock done br may 97 woohoo first Congratulations. Matthew Halloween Haunt. Yes, I did, Troy. I've been following your Halloween birdhouse projects. Well, that's really cool. Um, You've got to post some pictures or something. You're on Facebook, right? Post some pictures of your birdhouses. That would be really, really awesome to see. Uh, Haunt Guy 311. Burger King should have a Hellmouth burger. Onion rings. Y you put tobacco sauce, but I'm not sure if you mean Tabasco sauce. I think you left out an S. I hope so, because tobacco sauce, I guess that would be a hell, hellish burger. Lettuce, tomato, all on a hell steamed bun. Okay, I just made myself hungry. Are you guys hungry now too? And Jason Daniel said, don't forget bacon. Gotta have some bacon and maybe some, throw in some chipotle and throw in some jalapenos. Ooh, better yet, how about some ghost peppers? There we go. Tellin35, oh my gosh, Phoenix will be walking in time for the haunt. I know, I'm so excited. Uh, going back to Jason Daniel, also doing some acting in a zombie movie. Tell me, Troy, would you rather be a survivor or a zombie in a movie? I would love to be a survivor because ain't nothing going to bring me down. I will die and become a zombie, and then I'll still come back and kick zombies' butts. That's my dedication. 
You're out of Terry, Kentucky. Hey, Troy, I have posted my plans for 2013. Check out my channel to view the video. Let me know what you think of the plans if you get a chance to check it out. I will see what I can do about getting a chance to check it out, probably this weekend. Awoken Nightmare, the birdhouses are looking good. Thank you. Perhaps your next project will be haunted dog houses for all your little dogs to play in. Love the Stuart reference. Well, I'm glad that you love the Stuart reference, but there will be no haunted dog houses. Uh, the next thing are going to be uh, haunted props. Um, because that's, that's I, I'm so far behind right now, guys, it's not even funny. Emerald Gypsy Heart, you were trying to find something scary. Isn't balancing a checkbook scary? Yes, absolutely, especially when it's mine. Crazy Man Living, hey guys, miss y'all. What is up, dude? Um, high school and sports has gotten my way of haunting. I'm trying to get back into watching and haunting since all my sports are done. So, yeah. Well, glad to have you back. Seriously, very glad. Mr. Trav272, hey Troy, looks like I can't get any merch for right now, like a t-shirt and a shot glass, but I hope they don't sell out fast. Um, the ones that are going to sell out is going to be the Haunt Sauce and then also the Purple Shot Glasses. Both of those are getting dangerously low. As far as the shot glasses go, purple, once they're gone, they're gone, not being remade. Um, so, you know, it's five bucks and another five shipping and handling for just a single shot glass. Uh, the contest um, is ending extremely soon. All right, guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. May all of your dreams be scary ones. Yeah, Panda.